know that it can actually affect inflammation as a response to the microbes that are present in our gastrointestinal tracts. And so uh, these, these interactions can have effects like inflammation. And since we know that inflammation is a symptom of a lot of gastrointestinal diseases, like inflammatory bowel disease. So is this enzyme part of the human system? Or is it's it part of the human system. Seven years ago. And, uh, the whole time I've been here, I've been focused on zebrafish as my model organism and looking at the role of bacteria and fungus of the guts. Not only what they can do is bad, but also what they can do is good. And one of the cool things about zebrafish is you can actually rear them germ free. So this has been a very positive thing. And the neat thing is you can take away the bacteria and see how do they develop without the bacteria and then put it back in maybe one species at a time and see. Oh God, is this bacteria doing good things for the fish or is it doing bad things for the fish? And so in here we can actually show you kind of what's neat about the zebrafish and the 